protect you from things and you not be covered. So it all depends on the doors that you've opened to the enemy and what you're partaking in on your daily basis. If you're partaking in the, the, the enemies and what I just, what came to me was eating from the enemy's table and drinking from the enemy's cup. If you're doing these kind of things, how can you expect to be covered from the Lord? You can be protected by the Lord, but if you're um, rubbing elbows with the devil, drinking from his cup, then you're not covered by the Lord. So then things are liable to happen, even if you're protected from death. So basically the enemy can afflict your life, but can't take your life. Oh yeah, that's right. So now I'm going to read Job 2, 6. And the Lord said unto Satan, behold, he is in thy hands, but save his life. So right here, when um, Job 2, 6, the Lord removed the hedge of protection that he had around Job and told Satan that he could afflict his life, but he can't take it. So the enemy still needs to go to the Lord to ask permission to affect us. So sometimes we're going through things to test us, but then other times we're going